Two of the most expensive jeans that I own are making my butt look worse than any other pair in my closet. And this is across all price ranges. This experiment to me was mind blowing. It a total game changer. I set my camera up and I took 10 pairs of jeans that I have in my closet, some for years. Most are my favorites. And I stood in front of the camera and I wanted to see exactly what was going on behind there. And I wanna jump right into an example so I can show you what I'm talking about. And my goal is generally to minimize the appearance of my behind. So I'm gonna put two pairs of jeans up on the screen. Both of these, as a matter of fact, all of these are my bum. You'll see one on the left side and one on the right side. The one on the left side is making my bum look rather large in my opinion. The pockets are on the smaller side. The pockets are wider apart. They are not exactly proportionate to the size of my cheeks. And if you take a notice at the very bottom of the edge of the pockets, that distance between the bottom edges of the pockets is fairly wide. On the right hand side, you will see that the pockets are closer together, they're more proportionate to my cheek size, they're closer set, and if you compare the distance between the bottom of the pockets on the left and the bottom of the pockets on the right, this is making all of the difference in making my behind look a little bit smaller, if not smaller, at least more proportionate. So what I'm saying with all of this is that there's two key factors when trying on jeans and picking out a pair of jeans. The first thing is the placement of the pockets. And the second thing is the size of the pockets. Now the jeans on the left hand side are $300. The jeans on the right side are roughly about $70. The ones on the left are from Frame. They're very expensive. I thought that I loved them. Thinking about asking them to pay me to wear them now. The one on the right hand side is a pair of jeans from Liverpool. They're very reasonable jeans. But this was really eye opening to me. Now, keep in mind, that this is going to look different for everybody. You guys could try on all of these same jeans and your behind is gonna look different than mine. Your shape is different than mine. Your goal and what you're trying to achieve with the look of your jeans is going to be different. What you like is gonna be different. So this is all subjective. My point in this video is just to show you how different your shape becomes depending on the size of the pocket and the placement of the pockets. Okay, let's look at another example. The picture on your left is another pair of expensive jeans. The picture on your right is a more reasonable pair of jeans. The picture on the left. The pockets are rather large, not terrible, but they're very wide set and they're also sitting a little bit too low. You don't want that pocket to sit below the natural crease where you, the end of your butt cheek meets your thigh. So if you notice what that's doing is creating sort of a wide, flatter bottom. On the right hand side, now granted this is a darker wash, this also helps to minimize a larger bum, but what is different about this jean is that the pockets are a little bit smaller, a little more proportional to my bottom. They are closer set, so again, look at that difference between the bottom two pockets on the left and the bottom two pockets on the right. It makes the biggest difference. So the jeans on the left are a pair of jeans from Mother, well upward toward $300. The ones on the right are from Can Can, another very affordable option, very comfortable and stretchy, right around $70. So the takeaway from these two examples is if you are looking to generally minimize the look of a bigger bottom or to give a smaller appearance or a narrower appearance, what you really want to look for is plain pockets without any design. You want those pockets to be proportionate to the size of your cheeks and you want to look for a pair where the bottom of those pockets on each side are closer set, not farther apart. If they're farther apart, the wider your butt is going to look. But if you're looking to minimize the appearance, 
the, some things to avoid are any pair of jeans that have flat pockets on the back of the butt, flashy big stitching and designs, or teeny tiny pockets that sit high up on the bum. All of those things are going to accentuate and make your bottom look a little bit larger than it might be. Now, for some of you, that might be your goal. So for example, if you have a flat bottom or a saggy bottom, or you're looking to add volume to your bum, we're gonna look at a few examples of what you can do for that. Now, again, both of these pictures are my butt. They are just in different jeans, but it's shocking to see what the difference is due to the appearance of my butt. Now, both of these jeans are relatively reasonable. Both of them run between $30 and $60. But what I want to show you is how differently the shape of your butt can look depending on the pocket placement. So on the left, you see this pair has a larger pocket. It's sitting well below the crease of between the butt and the thigh. And what this is doing is giving my butt a very flat appearance. On the right hand side, the pockets are a little smaller. They are sitting much higher on the bottom, which is creating, if you'll notice in that bum area, it is looking very full and very round. So if that is your goal, or if you have a flat butt or a droopy butt and you're wanting to create that volume, this is what you wanna do. Look for smaller pockets that are sitting higher up on the bottom to give the illusion of a rounder, fuller butt. Now, I, mine didn't have to give any illusion because it just is what it is. And I'm looking to do the opposite effect, but I'm just showing you an example of how different your shape becomes depending on these two factors. So again, if you're looking to create more volume, look for smaller pockets. Look for pockets that sit higher on the bottom. You also look great in jeans that have a flap on the pocket. You also can get away with more design or stitching if you like that kind of thing on your pockets. All of that is going to create the illusion of volume. What you want to avoid is larger pockets and particularly pockets that sit below that natural crease. So I wanna cycle through every single picture that I took of these 10 jeans and just show you how different my butt looks in every single pair of these jeans. The first pair, these are mother jeans. The second pair, these are Liverpool. The third pair, this is from INC, Ink Denim. The fourth pair is from Walmart. They're the Sophia jeans. The fifth pair is from The Gap. The sixth pair is from NYDJ. The seventh pair, Banana Republic. Eighth pair, Can Can. Ninth pair, Frame. 10th pair, Judy Blue. So again, like I said, this is going to look different for every body, every shape. It's subjective depending on your goal and the look that you want to achieve. For me, this was absolutely mind blowing. So lesson here is when you go try on jeans, have the sales associate, have your husband, your friend, your sister, your mother, have somebody take a picture of your butt close up so that you can see exactly what's going on behind you. And do this before you purchase another pair of jeans. I can assure you if I had really paid attention to the way my butt was looking in those jeans from Mother and those jeans from Frame before I spent $300, I would have never purchased them. As a matter of fact, I'm really sorry that I spent that money on those jeans because now I don't ever want to wear them again. But this was a great lesson for me going forward. This is a must. This also is a testament to expensive is not always better. And for me personally, cycling through all of these jeans and seeing exactly what they were looking like from behind, I have found or come to the consensus that mid-range price jeans, around $70, I like the best. Now, is it a coincidence? I mean, a lot of it has to do with the shape that I am and the look that I'm going for, but 
it's huge for me. So I wanted to share this with you. I thought it was so interesting and, and quite shocking to see. And so I wanted to pass this along so that you can do the same thing if you want to before you purchase another pair of jeans. Let me know in the comments if you have ever gone through this experiment, what has been your results and were you shocked by them? I'm so curious if anybody has done this reach out, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this, I would love it if you would hit that like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.